Yo, what is going on guys? Maddox you see here and welcome to the beginner's ultimate guide to day Z. So for any of you that feel like you're struggling to survive or you're wasting a lot of your time, this is going to be for you. It's going to cover a lot of the basics of really just what you need to get started and to push you in the right direction for getting the exact loot you need. So we'll start with the most basic one. Get yourself a map. Day Z is absolutely massive. The map itself can take you hours just to walk across the entire thing. Not to mention most of the signs you'll see for cities are actually in a different language if you're not speaking Russian or Ukrainian whichever one it is enter a map I do recommend using I survive it's a really easy one and if you are playing with friends you guys can ping different locations it'll show you where different spawns are it's actually super easy to use not a sponsor but you know <clears throat> hit me up this way you'll know exactly what cities you spawn at where you want to go which path you need to take what road you need to take it's gonna be super detailed and it's gonna give you on the exact path that you need to be on next you should get off the coast but maybe not too quickly so you do need to get some kind of food and some water first before you just run inland especially if you don't know where you're going it's super easy to get lost and you'll end up just starving or just getting dehydrated and passing out and getting killed by zombies or someone like that be careful a lot of high level players do come to the coast just to hunt fresh spawns so you might be in some danger but if you do die you're not losing anything anyway so you can just restart and hopefully get a better city spawn next try to get yourself a decent weapon i know that's super hard especially when you're stuck on the coast but there are quite a few guns that you will get a couple spawns on so i know police stations are great for spawning the shotgun sometimes you can get a scorpion or a few pistols as well and ammo for those is super easy to find there's a few military checkpoints that are close to the coast as well just making sure that you have something else to fight back from whenever you do meet some of these players that maybe aren't going to be so friendly is going to be super key for your survival next let's talk about food and water so food and water is something you can never underestimate in this game even if you are full on water you don't think you'll need any for a long time go ahead and fill up a water bottle, a bucket, anything you can get your hands on because chances are you're going to start getting super cold at one point and it's just going to eat away at your hunger and thirst and if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere you don't want to be screwed over when you're in red water and you're limping because you have no health regeneration. Food is a bit more difficult so when you're on the coast especially it is going to be a lot harder to find a lot of food very quickly. The best thing you can end up doing is just killing a rooster or something like that because you're not going to have any big game animals usually along the coast. Once you kill a rooster you can go ahead and skin it as long as you have a good knife and you should be able to eat that and that will keep you somewhat full for a decent amount of time plus just make sure you check every zombie that you kill because zombies actually drop some food sometimes you'll get canned food or you'll get the unknown food just anything to keep you from starving at this point you really can't be too picky and on the note of killing roosters and cooking them so you need to know how to start a fire starting a fire is going to be one of the most essential things to survive in this game it's good for cooking meat it's good for setting up a campfire just to relax and rest and to hopefully warm yourself up it's even perfect when you're soaked and you need something to warm you up and make sure you get dry and just things like that right the easiest way to make fire is always going to be with matches and paper and usually getting an axe or something like that just so you can cut wood you can start a fire using either short sticks or logs but logs are always going to last a lot longer but of course if you are in a pinch short sticks will work just fine they just won't last you as long you'll have to get more now if you don't have matches or a lighter or something like that don't worry you can actually make a hand drill all you actually need for a hand drill is some bark and a stick anyways and to get a bark of course you'll probably need a knife so as long as you can find a knife you will be set and there's a lot you can do to get yourself started and keep yourself surviving for a very long time so clothes in this game are absolutely super important as well because you don't want to constantly be cold and you don't want to constantly be wet so rain jackets are always a must for me personally because it just protects me a little bit more from the rain it keeps my food from spoiling as quickly you can also get the bag that I believe is also waterproof I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head but I can find it and I'll put an image on the screen here these are going to be key for making your life a lot easier and for cold you can usually check and see in the description if it'll tell you if it'll keep you warm or not some of it you can just kind of know based off of real life knowledge so a hoodie is not going to keep you as warm as a giant quilted jacket of course no shoes aren't going to keep you nearly as warm as something like hunter boots which are made for keeping you warm in cold areas just things like that right and remember this game is set in the Ukrainian area close to Russia somewhat it's it's a little confusing I know but it is almost always going to be cold here I cannot stress this enough this game is a cold game it may not look like it but it is always freezing in day Z another great tip that most people won't tell you about if you're going through a city and you see a lot of human flesh or strange meat just laying on the ground chances are you want to get out of that town there are certain groups and certain people that will just go around killing fresh bonds and just eating them usually you can tell there's something 
something up with them, usually their hands will be red and bloody or you'll hear them laughing. If you hear them laughing, that means they're too far gone and they're actually suffering from this weird disease that actually you get from eating strange meat. So do keep an eye out on that. If you do find yourself kind of in a pickle and you really need some water, you can always drink from a lake or pond. However, this will get you sick. Not an incurable sickness, but usually it will get you so sick that you'll start either puking or you'll get this little icon on the bottom right where you can see like a germ logo. That's how you'll really know that you're sick. And there are a few different medications you can use to treat it, of course. You can find these usually in hospitals or certain little medical buildings that look like this. I'll put them on the screen now. This does go back to using I Survive, so you can actually see where these buildings are so you know how close you are to one. Depending on how sick you are, you can actually get there in time. But there's not always a guarantee they'll have the materials that you will need. But it is good if you're not already sick to go there and stock up on a bunch of different stuff. Grabbing bandages and things like that are going to be huge mostly because bandages will actually heal you much faster than rags. And I believe there's no chance of infection, or if there is, it's very little compared to actual rags. I do still think you can get infected depending on if a zombie hits you or not, if it gets in the wound. But even then, there's certain mixtures and things like that that you can actually put in the wounds to disinfect yourself. Now don't get me wrong, this is a super fun game to play, but it's not as fun playing it solo. I highly recommend playing with some friends. Of course, if you don't have any friends, you can always go to some of the Daisy Discord servers and ask around, or you can check out some of the community-based servers although they are modded but that is for PC only I do want to tell you for any of you console players you're just kind of out of luck sadly you'll have to stick with the discords servers but there's nothing wrong with that but yeah guys that is going to do it for today's video that is the ultimate guide to get you started in day Z so you can at least survive for more than five ten minutes without dying if you do have any questions let me know in the comments down below I will be answering most of them thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one peace